Hi, it's me, Dr. Fifi. I'm so happy to see you again today and for us to think about emotions together. I'd like to tell you a story about my friend, the incredible, the wonderful, the talented, Dr. Wash. Bonjour, c'est moi. Bonjour, enchanté. C'est moi, comme j'ai signé. Bonjour. <laughs> After spending the whole morning running, dancing, playing hide-and-seek, we decided to take a break and have a little snack. And so, just as Dr. Wash was about to take a bite out of his big red apple, he noticed a worm wriggling inside the apple. And he started screaming! Wash! Wash! Yuck! Oh, my friend was disgusted when he saw the worm in his apple. Have you ever felt that emotion? Disgust? Because it's a real emotion. It's one of the five main emotions that help us express ourselves. You can have physical disgust, and that happens when you see rotten food and you might feel sick to your stomach. Or it might also happen if you see an object or, or a behavior that you really don't like. Uh, disgust allows us to pass judgment upon an object or a behavior. <sighs> yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> um, okay, let's concentrate on physical disgust and let's ask Dr. Wash to help us out. First of all, when we feel disgusted, our body reacts without thinking about it too much. We often have the impulse to frown while sticking out our tongue and curling up our nose. Ooh, we may get nauseous and feel like throwing up. Sometimes we turn our heads so that we don't see the object that disgusts us. We also try to find a way to get away from the object that we do not like. <laughs> We can also have extreme thoughts in our minds. We can tell ourselves... Je plus les pommes. En fait, je déteste tous les fruits. Oh, but be careful, Dr. Wash. It would be a shame to hurt the feelings of other fruits which are not concerned. Poor little bananas, poor strawberries, poor melons. <sighs> Sometimes, disgust can be felt very subtly. And other times it can be very intense and violent. But what might surprise you is that disgust, even though it can feel very unpleasant, is a very helpful emotion. It can help guide us and direct us. It helps us express what we like and what we don't like. But be careful, because something that you don't like, somebody else might like very much. So you have to be careful not to hurt anybody's feelings. It's a matter of taste and cultural preference. Because the thing that makes us feel disgust can be different from person to person, it is important to identify this emotion, to calm down and not overreact. <laughs> you know, like, um, oh, just trying to see things differently um, from another point of view walking in somebody else's shoes, allowing our disgust to transform into hmm, curiosity. Psst, Dr. Wash, did you know that some scientists say that there exist certain worms that are edible? I know! that are a very good source of protein. <laughs> they even say that in some countries, people like cooking certain insects, they eat them cooked, fried, and even raw. Oh, wow, what a thing. Disgust is a fascinating emotion, and people's tastes are fascinating too. I invite you to play this little game where you imagine the foods that make you smile and the foods that make you make a face. <laughs> See you soon, my friend. Goodbye, Dr. Wash. Bye.